bring you impactful stories uh, from the story makers. My name is Gifty AJ, and my guest for today is Professor Akwesi Ose, a former chief psychiatrist and the very first CEO of the Ghana Mental Health Authority. Hi, Prof. So quickly, let's roll into your career path. You know, which was your very first um, institutional organization that you worked for? Well, as a general medical officer, I worked at Confanochi Teaching Hospital. Then I went to Wa Government Hospital, mm -hmm. Wa Regional Hospital. I went to Asante Mampon uh, Maternity Hospital. Then from there, I came back to Confanochi Teaching Hospital. And then from there to Kolebu and Accra Psychiatric Hospital. Mm -hmm. And that's how my uh, professional okay. pathway has okay. been. But in, yeah. the, in the area of mental health? In the area of mental health, Accra Psychiatric Hospital. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I went to Ankafo Psychiatric oh, so I left that one. I went to Ankafo Psychiatric Hospital as the head of okay. the facility, and I came back to Accra Psychiatric Hospital also to head the facility. Okay. Mm -hmm. Kindly share with us, you know, the mental health landscape, you know, the, the, the sector. I mean, what's the reality on the ground in the case of Ghana? Well, things are much, much better now. Mm. I give figures that some 15 years ago, if you had asked me what is the state of mental health care, I would have said two over 10. Mm. And even when I said two over 10, my colleagues were, mm -hmm. that I was too generous, yeah, that I should have been charitable. one over 10. I was being too charitable. Yeah. But now, I would say six over 10. Okay, why do you say that? Six over 10 is certainly not good enough, but it's, it's past the pass mark. Why do I say that? Uh, those days when I was saying two over 10, we were just about four, then at some point, 10 psychiatrists all okay. over the country. As we speak right now, there are 64 psychiatrists, so a lot of improvement. Those days, we had only three clinical psychologists mm. in the public sector. Now we have over 50, mm. so that's a lot of improvement. Yeah. Those days, there were just about uh, 500 psychiatric nurses in all the three psychiatric hospitals. Now you talk about over 3,000 psychiatric nurses. In fact, all over the country, about 5,000 psychiatric nurses. Mm. Those days, we were having the only the old traditional medicines uh, which gave, made people zombie, zombie, that kind of thing. Mm. Now we have modern day, tradition, uh, modern day psychiatric medicines, or we okay. call them psychotropics, okay. to administer to the needs of patients. And that's, that's a lot of good. Uh, those days, again, we were very limited in the medicines that we gave, very few, two, three, but now a whole range, so that's good. Okay. Again, those days, it was only Accra, Psychiatric Hospital, Ankaful, and Pantan. Mm -hmm. Now, almost everywhere in the country. So we have decentralized and we are now community oriented. So every hospital where malaria is treated, at least you can get your basic mental health care. We call it first aid mental health care. Okay. So we have even at the chips compound. Even at the chips compounds, okay. they have all been trained to give some basic handling of, of uh, basic psychiatric uh, mental health issues. Mm -hmm. And awareness is generally better in the society. Now media, for instance, the least opportunity you'll call to find out whether there's any <laughs> mental health implication, like yeah. somebody commits a heinous crime. Mm. You call to find out whether there's a mental health implication, which is good. In the past, it nobody. Wasn't like that. Now you move to the if you have if you had this program at the psychiatric hospital and your colleague saw you, his question will be, Oh, did you have a program at the psychiatric hospital? Mm -hmm. Which is good. But in the <laughs> past, you would say, Did you have a problem? <laughs> stigma. <laughs> stigma. Okay. So stigma has gone down. I wouldn't say remarkably, but it's gone okay. down. It's gone down. Yeah, quite a lot. But, but to you, what would be the ideal situation? The ideal situation would be when somebody, just as somebody can have malaria and, and uh, uh, proclaim that I have malaria, I can't come to it today, I have malaria. In the same way, I expect that if somebody has depression, has bipolar disorder, she should be able to say without any fear or hesitation that somebody will be pointing fingers at me that I have bipolar disorder. If you get to that point, then I know that you've got there. So we need to be able to destigmatize. Mm. Uh, again, talking about the landscape of the test now, we were talking about a decriminalization. Now, a suicide attempt has been decriminalized, which is very good as against looking at somebody okay. who attempts suicide as a criminal and jailing him. Mm. So there's a lot of improvement, but mm. we still have quite a lot to do. Again, talking about the ideal situation, now I don't feel happy, and I'm sure nobody feels happy to be seeing patients mental ill patients on the streets, vagrant, half naked, and whatnot. In the ideal situation, you should not see them. Okay. You will get there. But it used to be worse. rampant, probably worse than now, 
with people put in chains. Now they are no longer putting people in chains, even in prayer camps. Mm. So there's a lot of improvement along those lines, mm. but we still have a long way to go. From your experience, what would be your explanation of somebody with a, a, a mental problem or emotional condition? Is it a person on the street or, you know, how endemic or widespread is the issue that we're talking about? Mental health problems are widespread. Indeed, we keep saying that for every fifth person, if you take five people at random, mm. one of them has a mental problem. Mm. Of the remaining four, one will get a mental problem before the end of his or her life. Mm. Meaning that at any time, if you take any five people, two, either they have it now or they'll have it tomorrow. Wow. So that's our communities. Uh, but of course, once I say mental illness is common, people tend to think, oh, does it mean mad people mm. are so many? Yeah. Not necessarily. Mental illness is not necessarily madness. Okay. There are various types of mental illnesses, uh, the mild or minor ones and then the major ones. Mm. The minor ones, nobody will know that you, you, have, it. you have it, but okay. you will know. So what are the signs? Uh, for instance, abnormal fear. I mean, as we are sitting here, if somehow a lion appears from nowhere, we will all run away. How would you all beat Hussein Bolt? <laughs> yeah. But if cockroach appears here, mm. and you want to jump through the roof, and not just once, not twice, but that's a pattern, <laughs> that obviously is mental illness. Okay. Fear of cockroach. Somebody has fear of mouse. Yeah. That is mental illness. Somebody has mental illness. Somebody yeah. cannot sit in the middle of a taxi, at the back, uh, the back seat in the middle with mm. uh, a passenger sitting by left and that by right. You feel two that gentlemen, yes. a lady between two gentlemen. You would feel like the whole taxi yeah. is crumpling on him. Mm. It's fear of an enclosed space, claustrophobia. Mm. Such a person cannot be in a lift elevator. You will feel that it's, 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 it's death collapsing on him. Mm. This is mental illness. But he manages to get out and uh, he just clears Put the face. The powder and, and, that's that's and nobody sees anything. <laughs> This is a mental illness of the minor type. Again, there's a type that somebody feels like my hands are dirty, let me go and wash. Mm. You go and wash, you come back, oh, I, I didn't wash it properly, let me go and wash again. Mm. You go and wash 10, also 20 mental times. Health. Mental illness. Wow. This is an obsessive compulsive disorder. Mm. Another person with the same obsessive compulsive disorder or OCD might lock the door, mm. going to work, locks the door, he takes a few steps forward, he says, hey, no, 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 I didn't check my look. door, let me go. <laughs> So he goes to check, yeah. and then he's done, he's done. Just once doesn't matter. It happens to all of us. Okay. But repetitively, maybe it ten times, and then uh, uh, four times a week, yeah. and uh, every week or every other week. That obviously is mental illness. So all these are minor types that only the person who has it will know. You mm. sitting outside will not know. Mm -hmm. And there is a major type that he himself does not recognize as an, an illness. Only okay. you. Uh, otherwise, I keep saying, for instance, if somebody is naked, you think he knows he's naked? Hmm. He doesn't know. If he knew, he would have gone to find something to wear. Somebody has not been taking his bath for years. You think he knows he's dirty? He doesn't know. This is a major type of mental illness that he does not recognize, but you and I do recognize. So 